To run a business, we need clients. To have a marketing plan, we need to know who we're going to market to. So I want to break down who is your ideal client. All right. <laughs> Who is your ideal client? And that's probably the hardest thing to know because we don't really know who's out there and who is going to want to buy a product and service from us. So depending on the genre of photography, depending on whether or not um, you, know, you are a beginner or you are quite advanced in terms of your skills within the photography industry, you need to know who your ideal client is so that you can find them and put your brand and your business in front of them. That is the key to getting clients in the door because you can put a billboard up on a street but if it's in the wrong street and the wrong person is driving past that billboard every day, you're not going to get any clients. So let's think about that for example. We've, we see McDonald's uh, signs everywhere. We know how to look for the golden arches because they're everywhere. So they're everywhere because they offer someone something to everyone. Make sense? We offer a product and a service that's not for everyone. So we've got to find out who they are and what their demographics are. And we're gonna break that down a little bit. So in terms of their demographics, when we know who we're marketing to, we need to understand obviously the age of the person. So for example, a lot of people get young, um, married quite young, around their sort of mid twenties. And then if you're a wedding photographer, you know that you're gonna target someone in their mid twenties. When we're targeting people who are having babies, we need to know statistically what the average age of a woman is that's giving birth in our area. So where I currently live, the average age is 31 point something. So just over the age of 30 is the average age of the women that I need to put my brand in front of. But not every woman that age is gonna be interested in what it is that I have to offer. So I also need to know, obviously, we just talked about woman, um, gender. So there are men out there that will book you. I get quite a lot of inquiries from men because they wanna do something beautiful when their baby arrives, uh, or you know, they, they wanna have a say in who, who's their wedding photographer or their family portrait photographer. So the next thing that you want to look at is their lifestyle. What is it that they do? You know, are they um, working class? Are they entertaining? All of those things. Now, you can find this information out by talking to people uh, in terms of your model calls, talking to people that have just had a baby. You know, what sort of lifestyle do you live? Uh, what did you do before you had your baby? Things like that. Um, activities, did you go to the gym? Do you play a sport? Uh, do you, are you a member of a particular club? Do you like to go to certain places um, and enjoy sort of outdoor activities? Things like that. Um, hiking, walking, bike riding, all of those things. Now, you might not associate bike riding or hiking with what it is that you do, but if you've got a large amount of your client base that's interested in those things, then you just need to start looking at different hiking and bike riding clubs to be able to network with them and put your, your brand out in front of those people or how you could potentially work with them in the future, if that makes sense. That's a pretty broad example, but it's an idea. And that's what marketing is. In, a, in, in order for you to successfully market your business, you've got to get creative about the ways that you do it. So that's why you've got to understand all of these demographics and who your potential client is um, in terms of their lifestyle, their activities, and their values. Now, the products and service that you offer, is your client, your potential client, are they going to benefit them in terms of value? Are your products going to be of value to them? Are they the type of people that value what you do? Do they, do they put a high value on photographs, especially photographs of their family that, you know, that has grown in terms of their grandparents and things like that? So then we start to look at needs, interests, opinions, all of those things. Now that's a lot of information and some people might think of it as stalking, but 
having general conversations with people and asking them things find people that are around that average age of women and you know men that are giving birth um, not men giving birth but having babies couples having babies um, and talk to them about those types of things do a survey with people that you know uh, if you're a member of something where there might be people that age get out there and do your homework and break it down the the one thing that I always sort of focused on when I was building my client base was that client relationship and getting to know them. And when I got to know them and I started asking the right questions, that's when I started to understand who they were, what their interests were, their lifestyle, what sort of things that they did. So in, in order for me to be able to go out and network with other businesses, um, one of the best things I ever did was network with a local gym and they had an indoor swimming pool, they offered aqua aerobics and a lot of pregnant women would go there. They had a creche with small children. So people who were starting their families were attending this particular gym. I offered to do a photo shoot, um, corporate sort of photo shoot in terms of their um, building and, and all of the things that they offered and then their staff members in exchange for me to be able to advertise there. And anyone who booked me through uh, that advertising got a discount. So it worked out really well. They got, a, they got something from me and I was able to use their premises to advertise my um, brand. And that was a perfect way for me to put my products in front of potential clients and get my name out there. Now there are many, many different ways on how we can market to these people. But before you can do that, you've got to know how you, um, who these people are and how you can put your, your brand in front of them. So when it comes to those values, you really do need to, to express your value of what it is that you do so that you, they can um, recognize that value and they can see it and, and be drawn to your business in terms of hiring you. The other thing that you need to do is look up on the internet the statistics of people having um, babies, their average age, and what sort of locations they're in. Because if you live in a large city with multiple suburbs, some suburbs may be suited to families and other suburbs might be better suited to, you know, that sort of um, older age group of, of working class people that have got older children, things like that. Or you might have younger people living in a particular area close to a CBD. So when you start to think about potential billboards and where you would put them, you would put them in areas where people tend to, to buy a home or you know live in a, in a sort of a smaller suburban area with other families around them that you can start to put your brand in front of them. And when we start to think about that, we don't necessarily want to look at those, you know, those high income areas um, and we don't really want to disregard those low income areas either because you, your brand, your business and how you put it out there is going to attract people that might not necessarily be able to afford you, but they value what it is that you do. So don't always disregard people if you don't think that they can afford what it is that you're going to provide as a product and service because they are often your best clients. So that's why it's really important to break down and build an avatar of who your potential client is based on those demographics. So go through that list, write it down on a piece of paper, and then you'll be able to start working on ways to put your brand out there and find those clients a lot easier.